Yeah, so coming into that game, you, they are just kind of like a storied franchise of being having a lot of success or whatever. And coming as a freshman, everybody in juniors kind of just knew that St. Norbert was like the epitome of junior, like uh, D3 hockey. And so we had the chance to play them, and we just had the mindset of we can beat any team at that point coming in five and one and whatever. So uh, we came in there with a uh, – with our heads kind of high and had good expectations of what we could do, but we also knew that uh, they're a good team. Another chance for Benitez. Going through, there's the ricochet. Owen oh, Williams had a good opportunity, couldn't finish. Still staying in, Ryan Patrick kept it in. Still on the putt, he's hit hard and a penalty upcoming. Perfectly to Watts, here's Ryan Patrick. Hit hard by Spethlin. This is up top. This is Aaron Murray for Patrick. Patrick inside, and that's the goal for the freshman. Chris Lee. I think Ryan Patrick got it at the point somehow, and there was a seam straight across the zone to me back door, and it was kind of just like a tap in. I didn't really get everything on it, but I mean, it was a good placement of a shot, so I just went in. Still alive for Thomas. Thomas throws it high. Kenny isn't sure where it is. And in doing so, St. Norbert able to capitalize. Kurt Black on the opposite end capitalizes 1-1. The other side of the ice. Another good look here. This is Black looking for a second, and he gets it. There's Kenny did well. Oh, another chance. There's the third goal for St. Norbert. Yeah, so, I mean, they're a resilient team. They're a good team. They know that they can win. So, yeah, that coming in 90 seconds after and scoring that 1-1 tying goal, um, they grabbed the momentum. And, I mean, we never shut down. We kept fighting. I felt like it was a back-and-forth game the entire game. But that first period, yeah, they went up 3-1. to one. They scored a couple quick goals right after. But we never... Um, had our heads down or anything like that. We kept pushing. We knew that. I mean, we had, had we'd been in that uh, position earlier in the season a couple times, I think, um, where we go down a goal or something. We had a really good mindset and, and a tight group that we knew that we could come back even if it's a one or two goal deficit. We can do it. Uh, we proved it before, and uh, that's what we did. And they could try a counter. Benitez had it popped up. And he scores! How on earth did that happen? Just threw it on target. Awkward angle. It got the benefit of a Bontorin mistake. And it's 3-2. Stevenson need one goal to tie. Two to win, they're in the white. St. Norbert in the green. And here we go. Some exciting stuff Stevenson have set up for the dramatics and they're known for doing so. Christian Ripley, centering one. No chance by Carl Leiden. He'll have another go. And there's the tire. Carl Leiden strikes again. And it's 3-3. In the Alberta Junior Hockey League. As here comes Christian Ripley. My goodness. It's 4-3. Just like that. A quick counter. And Stevenson find themselves up by one. Yeah, so, yeah, when it became 5-5 five, five and 10 minutes left, I think our, uh, we kind of, by that point, obviously we were in the groove of the game and we knew it was a fight um, from the start and we just kind of, I think at that point we really believed that we could win. I mean, I feel like there's a little bit of doubt at the beginning of the game just because they're a story franchise. We knew that they were going to be good and everything like that. And it was 5-5 left in the third, and we had an incredible amount of push at the end to to uh, grab the lead when when I scored at the end with the coming from Benitez in the corner. It was kind of of a surreal experience because. Um, I don't know how I got wide open in the middle.
Benitez has a good look for Chris Lee. Six, five. It was just me and the goalie and one little head fake and it was, he was out of his crease, out of his net, completely out of, out of position. It was, I actually, uh, it was kind of weird. I almost missed the, missed the net completely. I had the complete open net and I hit post and in on the far side and I kind of scared myself. But uh, I don't know, it went in and it was just a rush of emotion, a rush of excitement and um, we went on from there and that was the game running goal. And then, yeah, um, Brian Kenny icing it for the rest of the game. We were holding strong. They had a really tough push and really strong push towards the end of the game to tie it. And we actually ended up just holding out and kind of buying into our systems and leaving it all out on the ice and sacrificing our bodies and everything like that. So we, we came out and pulled out the win.